together in our nine overtime game of the week. Let's go. Let's roll the highlights. Jefferson hosting Austin over at Silver Fox Stadium. First time we've done a game of the week at Silver Fox Stadium, albeit new stadium over there at Jefferson High School. Both of these teams 3-1 and one in district play heading into this one. Jefferson certainly a feel-good story, but it was all about Austin in the first half. This is Luis Fernandez to Israel Luna for the touchdown. Just like that, it was 7-0 Austin. Jefferson going to get the ball. Nathan Alcala going to put it on the ground. Jefferson seemed like they came out shell-shocked here, uh, uh, Jason. You know what, Andy? It was surprising that Nathan Alcala did not start tonight, and Austin came out throwing the ball. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> that, that touchdown pass to Luna, and then this is something we're used to seeing. Ed, Sergio Rodriguez with the touchdown. Yeah, it's that ground and pound from Coach Pichardo and the Austin Panthers. The storyline here for Austin, Jaden Wilson injured last week, a little bit banged up, but the other guys on the team stepped it up. Can we just talk about real quick, Pichardo, Eric Pichardo just keeps getting it done at Austin regardless of how they get it done, Ed. Yeah, uh, I mean, you, you you look at what he's done to that program. He turned that program around the instant he stepped foot uh, on that campus, and they've gotten better every year. Jefferson trying to make a little bit of a comeback in the second half, but Austin, they get a big win. 42-19 to 19 is your final. Nine overtimes, Sam Guzman caught up with head coach Eric Pichardo. He has this week's coach's spotlight. Hey guys, we're here at our nine overtime game of the week. The Austin Panthers getting the job done over the Jefferson Silver Foxes. I'm here with Austin head coach Eric Prichado. Coach, uh, really dominant first half, 28-0, but in the second half, Jefferson kind of got on the board and they were crawling back. How'd you get, manage to get your team calmed down and back into uh, the form they were in earlier? Well, we, we have a bunch of uh, little knuckleheads, uh, a very young team. And they thought it was over at halftime, and we had to, and it was a super long halftime, and we had the hardest time convincing them that it wasn't over. You know, they, they told them, uh, we, we all told them uh, they had one more punch left, and as a matter of fact, they had two, three punches, and uh, it, it's it's a running game that pretty much eats up the clock, and that, that's how we, we knew that if we, if we could eat up two or three more first downs, that we were going to be successful. Uh, Coach, two of those knuckleheads, like you say, uh, on your side, uh, Israel Luna and Sergio Rodriguez. I mean, tell me about the game they had. I know they put up multiple touchdowns. Yes, they had to step in because uh, because they had to. I mean, it, it was their responsibilities to step up, carry the ball, block for one another. And uh, it was a personal challenge from the whole team to number one and number 44. And they, they came through. And coach, you guys have one more game left in the regular season. You guys are looking good. Four game winning streak after tonight. I mean, how do you get your team to finish off the season strong? Hey, we, we do everything the same on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We're not going to change anything for anybody. Uh, it's refocused. They, they got to enjoy the win. And then come Monday, we, we go we go back to work. Uh, we, we go back to dig and shovel and go back to work on Monday. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, guys, that does it for our nine overtime game of the week. The Austin Panthers winning 42-19. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Sam, thank you. Appreciate it. Head coach Eric Pichardo, one of my favorite coaches in the city, he said before this game how his team plays boring football. Boring football. Seems Andy, to be getting I, it done. I, I'm most surprised. I counted that. I counted the guys on that team that suited up tonight. 29 guys on the roster, and they've got it done every. Uh, it seems like every week this season. They have a brand of football, and it just seems to work. Congratulations to the Austin Panthers. But remember, you have two other teams that are tied with them going into tonight at 3-1 in district play. That is Andrus and Burgess. Let's stay with District 25A Division Two for these highlights. You got. Uh,